the LG V20 user here and today I'm going to show you guys the gaming tools on the LG V20 so the LG V20 got the gaming tools feature in the Oreo update so if you guys play any games on your phone you guys will notice, notice a controller at the bottom right of the screen as you guys can see right there that, that little controller will show up during game and you guys will have several options to do different stuff during game so that's pretty cool so I'm showing sure you guys a little bit of that here while I'm playing San Andreas on my phone so yeah, uh, this is an awesome game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, so yeah, uh, so if you guys click on the little controller right here. You guys, you guys click on the little controller right here. You guys will have an option to take a break, take a screenshot, adjust game graphics, or lock home touch buttons. All right. So you guys have those four options right there. If you guys take a break, it will uh, um, it will pause the game. It will say taking a break. The brightness and performance have been adjusted to save battery until you are ready to play so that so that's pretty cool so if you guys do that it will adjust brightness and performance to help you save battery while you're taking a break and when, and when you guys are ready to play again just hit play and you'll be good to go all right so that's taking a break there oh uh, that's a pretty cool feature you know what i'm saying um if you guys go back to it you guys oops you guys go, if you guys go back to it you guys click on take a screenshot I'll still take a screenshot and I'll save it to your gallery so you take a screenshot it took a screenshot of the map right there uh, it said in your gallery underneath screenshot so be looking out for that um, slide back over click it again you guys will have the option to adjust game graphics so uh, that's what I did here um, I you know, just the low I really don't notice a difference between low and high graphics for this game personally I personally don't notice the difference y'all guys might notice the difference and whatnot but I personally don't know the difference you know what I'm saying so I'm guessing if you have the lower the uh, resolution I guess your battery will last a bit longer I guess you know I'm um, assist to adjust the graphics of this game any unsafe changes will be discarded and the game will reopen all right so yeah you guys have the option between low low normal and high frame rate is the same thing low normal and high and if you guys are satisfied with your um selection just hit apply the game will restart uh so do you keep that in mind uh it will restart the game uh so uh yeah it will restart the game and stuff like that so you know that's you know so yeah um so that's pretty cool that you had the option to adjust game graphics you know that's pretty cool and stuff like that and um whatnot you know and um yeah if you guys you know click on it again obviously you guys will have the option to like home touch buttons if you guys click on that it says some apps may not work after you make this change make sure you save any changes in the app before you continue hit lock now basically what it'll do is just like the home touch buttons right there on the side so it'll be right there waiting you know and you guys can do whatever you guys need to do go home get your recent apps or whatever y'all guys need to do and so this controller will be this controller will be visible uh, during game uh, so uh, depending on what game you have you guys will see this controller not every game will have this controller uh, Fortnite, uh, the Fortnite game I have on my phone doesn't doesn't show that. Um, that Asphalt 9 doesn't show that, but I have three games on my phone that will show this right now. I have Family Feud 2, Madden Overdrive, and GTA San Andreas. Um, so you know, yeah, man. I mean that. I mean that gaming tools thing. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's a pretty interesting feature from LG. I think you know. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool feature because you guys have the ability to take screenshots of your gameplay. Uh, take a break, you know, you know, take a break from it. Uh, adjust graphics and frame rates and stuff like that. That's so that's a win. Uh, personally, I don't know so much difference between low uh, low resolution and high resolution. I personally don't know the difference. Some of you guys might know the difference. But I personally don't know the difference. So, you know, this is um. Uh, you know, this is a um, pretty decent um, resolution game. It's not like the best resolution, you know, game-wise. Because this game came out in like 2004, I think it was, or whatever. So the gra graphics on this game were not, you know, wasn't that great, but they weren't that bad either. 
and um and you guys have the ability to like um him touch button so if you guys want to get rid of him just hit that and it'll say i mean it will i'll basically just hide him right so if you guys want to uh, hide him again just go to the controller go to home go to like home touch buttons and then hit hide it will hide him again it will make the game full screen again so you guys will have that controller the, the whole game the whole time you're playing the game so that's pretty cool and uh so yeah i think that's all uh, pretty much it there guys so if you guys want to know how to get this gaming tools feature it's in the settings and uh general go down to gaming and you guys will have the ability to check out the settings for that um i did a video about that in my audio update video so go check that out and so uh that's all pretty much it there guys if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up guys it really helps me out a lot please rate comment subscribe Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.